How's it going, everybody? My name is John Hammond, uh, and just a moment ago, I saw a new email in my inbox that said, test your skills in the all-new PWK, or Penetration Testing with Kali Linux, uh, course that Offensive Security offers. So I was like, whoa, this is awesome! This is what everyone had been asking for, for always and forever! So I want to check it out, I want to look through it, and I want to show you uh, what I think, etc., in case people are interested in that. So here's their email. It's all new for 2020, penetration testing with Kali Linux. Keep your skills sharp. So they have pushed a significant update to PWK on today, February 11th, 2020. Uh, complete overhaul and now has more than double the content plus 33% more labs. That's awesome, because there were already a ton of lab machines to begin with, and now there's even more. Uh, I like that a lot. I would, I would be interested in, in taking a look at that. Um, OSCP holders looking for new challenges. Okay, so if you already have OSCP, you can find them in this course. Again, like we, we buy the course. You can head over to the website to see the trailer. That's be slick. Let's check that out. Find out what changed. And now they have active directory attacks. Okay. So, like LLMNR and stuff, uh, res Responder and some things that might be used for more internal penetration testing. Um, I need to get smarter on that, so I think that is super duper cool. And PowerShell Empire. The thing is, when I read this, I immediately think, well, they're just doing what eLearn Security did for uh, PTP, or the like professional penetration testing certification. They have their ECPPT course, a certified professional penetration tester, and that covers Active Directory attacks and PowerShell Empire. And so when I when I see Offsec do that, I'm like, well, what is going on? Because that's already very similar to what the other course did. It's a different certification body, right? It's a different certifying body, but it it's, it makes me think. Maybe. Extensive updates to privilege escalation. That should be awesome. I'm curious to see really what more they added in that. Uh, buffer overflows. Win32 buffer overflows. So they already cover that heavily with immunity debugger and actually just doing a simple like jump ESP shell code um, with NX and DEP off so you can get a shell. And they do that with MSF Venom to generate that shell code, etc., etc. Port redirection and tunneling modules, though, that should be really cool. Web app attacks, it probably, I think, already has a good few there. And new dedicated student virtual machines. Oh, that's nice. I don't think we ever had that to begin with. We had a... Uh, we had the, they were give They would give you a Kali Linux virtual machine, but you could... They didn't have a Active Directory domain controller to use, nor a Windows 10 client, so I kind of wonder what they're doing with their buffer overflows now, because if they're in Windows 10, that's interesting. Maybe that's just for the web stuff. Oh, we hope you're ready to try harder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. FAQ entry, but what happens in our course update? Let's go check that out. Um, we can get it from a purchase link. So, okay, so we would need to upgrade lab if, if you already have it, in my case. What is the Offsec Flex program? Oh, 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 that's for getting it for a bunch of people. Review the syllabus, so let's look at that. And let's get all the details. All right, so that opened in a new web browser, totally on my other computer monitor. So let me drag that down for you guys. Okay. Wow. Wow. What is happening? This is the FAQ. This is the frequently asked question. So I haven't actually looked at this yet, so let's see. Where did it bring me? It literally... I had a link in that. Update exam. There it is. What happens when a course gets updated? Seriously? You just moved me away from that again? What happens when a course gets updated? Do past students need to repurchase the course materials? So this is uh, selfish because I'm looking at this in my uh, lens where I have already taken OSCP, and I'm sure a lot of you as audience members already have too. So... As offensive security courses get updated, they go through price revisions. Mmm, is it going to cost more now? Past offensive security students will always be able to upgrade their course materials with new versions for the difference in price between the revision and the new one. For this reason, there's no reason to wait for a new course revision. Okay, so if I look at the new course, in this tab here... Ooh, this is their trailer. Let's see it. Let's click it out. Let 
Why doesn't that work? Oh! We had a white screen. No, that's just, it's still loading. Okay! Let's go to Vimeo. Let's see if that link will work any better for us. Much better. Penetration testing with Kali Linux is a foundational course for any information security professional. All new for 2020, this is our most comprehensive update ever. You'll get access to all new content, examples, and step-by-step -step Oh, 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 this is the guy. This course, is, uh, this is the guy that is doing the voiceovers for the AWE. Um, excuse me, uh, Away, uh, A W A E, the Advanced Web Attacks and Exploitation course. So for O S W E, because it's one of their most newer courses that they released, um, this guy is the guy doing the voice, audio, and commentary for the videos that they showcase. Uh, I think Maddie, the original guy that like put together offensive. I don't. I'm not too smart on this, so I might be saying things that are incorrect. Um, but Maddie did the original videos for offensive security. CP, OSCP, the original, and OSCE for the certified expert. Um, but this new guy, his voice is what is used for um, OWE or OSWE, OSWE. Access to our updated live training labs loaded with even more real world targets. This year, we've added all new content, including Penetration testing Active Directory environments. Discovering and developing Windows and Linux-based buffer overflows. Client-side attacks. Web application attacks. AV evasion and privilege escalations. Exploitation frameworks like Metasploit and PowerShell Empire, and much more. Whether you're new to penetration testing or simply want to sharpen your skills and put them to the test, we'll arm you with working knowledge of the most current pen testing tools and methodologies. We'll also help you develop the mindset necessary for a successful career in information security. Once you've tackled the course material, you'll be ready to take on the certification exam and earn the title of Offensive Security Certified Professional. The proctored hands-on exam is tough, but fair. Tough, Passing but it fair. proves you under yeah. understand the pen testing tools and methodologies and can leverage them along with the try harder discipline that will set you apart in the field. Okay. Employers around the world as a mark of excellence and distinction. Yeah, that's true, I guess. So honestly, you, you probably can tell I'm not the biggest fan of the whole try harder mantra. Um, it's a meme, but... Okay. That was a good video, I think. And it, uh, the new guy that's talking is does, do, does a really good job. So that was a cool video, I guess. I like offensive security because they're trying to make... Right now, anyway, they did like the whole overhaul of their website, their whole style and theme. Now they're making things a little bit more flashy and bold. That's cool. So what is new? So yeah, Active Directory attacks. I saw they said PowerShell Empire. Isn't there like isn't PowerShell Empire like dead or dying? Or do they release a new version? I don't. I, I guess I don't know. I thought this is something that I just genuinely don't know. But I, there was I know there was a lot of conversation like man, PowerShell Empire is kind of like old. It's kind of Kicking the can, because um, PowerShell, I guess, has a lot more visibility now for being actually discovered and caught. I think C Sharp and uh, Covenant, Spectre Ops uh, C2 framework is a little bit more in the scene now for the cool kids. Um, buffer overflows, okay, that's always there. They mentioned Windows 32 and Linux in that, though, so I'm curious what they do for actual Linux buffer overflows, because I don't think they, they covered that whatsoever in the last PWK. Bash scripting, eh. I mean, I've just like that. That just kind of comes with the territory. But yeah, I guess it's not. It was never particularly taught in the original course. 
So new dedicated student machines and more shared lab machines. That's got to be pretty cool. I wonder what those new machines are. So I had only, when I was taking OSCP, uh, when I was going through the labs, I wanted to do the lab report. So I did it and I went through, to get the lab report done, you need to compromise 10 machines. And I went through and I compromised 13. I think I just had the extra three like randomly, even though I had passed 10. Um, and that was fine. But I know there's like 51 or something. I know there's like 55. So if they're adding a third of that, how many of that? No, that's that'd be cool. I, I wish I wish I had constant access to the lab environment, um, so I could practice and kind of take notes and know. Okay, this is a known vulnerability. I've seen this before in my PWK labs, because there are so many of them. There are so many vulnerable machines. I think it's awesome exposure to things that are out there in the real world that are broken and totally totally vulnerable. So maybe. I don't know how much I would pay. Let's, we should see the price. We should see how much this is now. Extra mile exercises. They had that in OSWE. So it looks like they're really trying to revamp stuff. Um, passive information gathering. I don't know what you would do to update that. I don't know what they'd put in there. Maybe some cool social media things. Uh, buffer overflow is good. Privilege escalation. That probably has some cool stuff. I wonder if they actually mention uh, LinPs or the one of the new Linux privilege escalation awesome scripts. You go check that out. Uh, Google LinPs. L-I-N-P-E-A-S. Uh, you'll see it in one of Ipsec's videos, too. Client-side attacks. I don't know what that means, because that is very vague. Client-side as in cross-site scripting. I mean, web application attacks. Meh. Port redirection and tunneling. Did they, they had that before, but like super duper barely like at the end. I wonder what they do for that now. Because if they showcase some like SSH port forwarding and using like a SOX proxy within Metasploit and like... What else is there? Auto route and Metasploit? Yeah. And existing machines operating system and attack vectors. Wow. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot. Download the syllabus. Yeah, we should check that out. We should check that out. We already have... Uh... Oh, this is their blog post. Yeah, let's check out the blog post before we move into the syllabus. Overhauled. completely revised all the modules. I wonder if... This might just be me being devil's advocate, but I wonder if you really did revise all of the modules. Probably. I mean, I'm sure they're saying that with with some wood behind the arrow, but... More than doubles the amount of course content? What? The course is already huge! Holy cow. Still a foundational course, except now it's just a behemoth... <laughs> Okay, and that's... Oh, they, they had the practical tools in here. <laughs> that wasn't on the other page. <laughs> what are you hiding, offensive security? <laughs> okay, bash scripting. Yep. Okay, I'm glad they, they talk about it a little bit more. They say, like, yeah, you're supposed to have some experience prior to starting a course. And obviously people do. I think, I think this uh, has so much mystique behind it. It's a very ominous certification when someone says like, oh, I have my OSCP to a person that doesn't, and they're like, wow! Woo! <laughs> but um, if, they're, if they're like new in cybersecurity, then they see that OSCP as one holy grail thing, and there's a lot of uh, ominous aura around that. So you should know bash scripting before, you should know how to use a Linux command line before you take OSCP. Or most people, I think, probably would. Okay, you did buffer overflows already. That, I think, is going to be really cool. Active Directory attacks, Kerberos, and NTLM attacks. But again, I don't know as much of that as I need to, so I would be interested in learning that. And I think of eLearn Security, though, when they do that, another certifying body that already did this, even with PowerShell, they had a PowerShell section in their other certification, ECPPT. So, I don't know. It just makes me raise an eyebrow. I mentioned that already. It's interesting. Got to keep up with the times. Keep up with the Joneses. Does it have a walkthrough? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they do have a walkthrough. Okay. And extra exercises, extra miles. Ooh, PowerShell and PowerCat. I don't know what PowerCat is. I'm not smart. I need... <laughs> oh, they cover Shodan. That's kind of cool. I don't... That's neat. Pacebin I've seen before. 
bypassing UAC. I wonder how they do that. I'd be curious if it's not just like, okay, run get system and meterpreter. Um, HDA attacks, those are the client-side attacks I talked about. DDE embedding, I did that for um, the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge a few years ago, 2017. Word macros, that's kind of cool. That, actually, that I would like that. I would like to learn a lot about that. Increased coverage on Metasploit. Slick. Okay. Oh, really? This is interesting. What does this mean for the exam? The exam is going to stay the same. Obviously, the proctoring is still in place. I don't think OFSEC is ever going to go away from that anymore. The certification procedures will remain the same. The PWK refresh provides more materials and machines for preparation, but it doesn't change what the exam material is. And they, ha they have a lot of different exams that can be in rotation, right? Some virtual machine sets and some vulnerable networks could be manipulated and changed for whoever many students. Um, please note, lab extension purchases no longer include an exam attempt. Hmm. OCP holders may choose to retake the exam. It's been more than three years from when they were last certified. I don't know why you would do that, though. Just like they said, there's no requirement from OFSEC to update your certification. Once you're an OSCP, that's, these are lifelong certifications. That's one of the benefits of offensive security. Okay, and just use your purchase link if you want to do that. But, I mean, the, up, the update would be kind of cool, but it's literally just to get those videos and that content. Let's see the syllabus, because I've been saying we should check that out for the longest time. Now it's nice and fresh with a new logo that's red. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is 16 pages of a table of contents. Oh my goodness. How many modules are in this now? 17, 18, 19... This course is huge! Nothing wrong with that. That's great. But wow. The domain controller. I, I, I really, really like that they're putting in Active Directory because I, that's something that I want to get smarter on and like Kerberos, etc., etc. But I still, again, think of eLearn Secure and I can't get over that. I can't get over that in my head. Okay. There was a, this is it. This is the link we were on originally. Let me, 24 hour exam still. The exam is proctored. That hasn't changed. This was a heck of a journey. That's, that's an understatement. Okay. Same requisites they mentioned. Yeah, so they try to tell you, hey, make sure you know how to script in Bash or, or Python or Perl, especially Python, because you're going to end up doing that for your buffer overflow, and that's absolutely necessary, especially in later courses. 17 plus hours of video. My God. Aren't the others, like, OSCE, I think, has like four hours of video. Like, not much. 850 page PDF course guide. That's longer than a Harry Potter book. <laughs> 75 lab machines. The student forums are there. Access to a virtual lab environment. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, they're teaching in Maryland. That's probably back at my old schoolhouse. That's kind of cool. Okay, course pricing. This is what I'm interested in. So now the course is a little bit more money. A little bit more money, depending on how much lab access you get. So the difference in the upgrade is $200. So it used to be like $800, I think, right? So now they're at $100. i am sorry, 1000 I don't know why I said $800, $200. So that, that update is difference. Wow. Would I pay $200 to learn more about PowerShell, Empire, uh, Active Directory, Attacks, LL, etc., etc.? I don't know. 
because I already have the certifications, that OSCP, I don't think that would benefit me much without going straight to eLearn Security for their ECPPT, because then I would get another certification and not this one again, quote unquote. So, huh. Anyway, I think that's cool. I think it's awesome. More power to them for actually updating this because this, everyone had said like, dude, OSCP is outdated, etc. cetera. Wah. Um, OSCE now, the OS Offensive Security Certified Expert, that one is friggin' a dinosaur. That is eons old, I think. <laughs> but like, they still ship that with Backtrack. Like when you when you purchase that course, they'll give you a backtrack virtual machine rather than a Kali Linux virtual machine. So, yeah, and that's kind of some older stuff. This is good. It's really good that they did this. Um, I don't know. Is it worth a thousand dollars right now? Yes, absolutely. The same reason. I mean, OSCE and OSWE are just about that price, if not more, um, depending on what you get, because the depth of what's in the course. And now this is ginormous. Now this is huge. 75 lab machines, almost a thousand pages for an actual book and almost a day's worth of video content. Yeah, there's tons in this and that's great. I think if you haven't got offensive securities, uh, certified professional or OSCP certification now, uh, now would be a great time to do it, especially if they have overhauled this course and this upgrade is kind of cool. That's a little bit of hype. That's a little bit of good stuff. So, all right, I hope this video was kind of interesting, kind of cool to watch, kind of fun. Um, it's just me looking at the web pages raw, uh, some that I had seen before, some I haven't seen before, giving you a review, checking out that video, and um, maybe you learned something. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. I don't think you probably learned anything, but it was cool to hang out with you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the Facebooks, Twitters, Internets, social medias, LinkedIn, YouTube. I'm going to end the video. <laughs>